Hello, everybody. For the first time in over a month at this point, we are on our own Quattro Kalinas map, and what we're going to be doing today is using a bunch of the engraved weapons. So this was the closest I could get to an engraved version of the 22. We have uh, the Classica, which it looks close enough. And then we also have the 6.5 Rayo along with us and the drilling rifle. I believe this is the select edition. And it's unfortunately the only thing we can take the road deer with. So if we do find a good road deer, we have to take it with buckshot. And then the last weapon we have is the 270 Stradivarius, which a lot of you guys have this thing because it was a reward for the community after completing a challenge a couple of years ago at this point. So the majority of you should have this. Uh, this one's in one of the DLCs, and then the Rayo is from the Quattro Kalinas missions, actually. So, a lot of cool-looking rifles, and we're going to be using all of them today. My plan is to start early in the morning at 5.30, hunt for the Red Deer and the Roe Deer and uh, whatever else is out at that time, and then we'll slowly transition into stuff like Mouflon and Ibex. And then, hopefully by the end of this, we'll have been able to take every single animal type and... Hopefully even get a diamond or a rare in the process. I'm not really sure what to expect, but we're going to start along this river and see if we can find some good red deer herds. Now, last time I was here, I had not really hunted this river too much for red deer. I had went in that direction, but I didn't realize there were so many of them in this direction too. So we're going to check there first because most likely I've got some untouched herds over here. I have recently noticed that this area right here is actually a really awesome area. As you can see, we were able to push all of these red deer up into this area, including that tiny little level 3 and this big level 7 right here. It actually looks like he is... never mind, I thought he was bugged for a second, but he is continuing on. But there's also a wild boar here, there is a roe deer out there, there's a bunch of rabbits. This area is just really good, and as you guys can see, it's kind of right here on the river. If you guys spawn in at this little lodge right here, and then just run along the river, you will be able to push a bunch of red deer out of this area and they tend to go into these fields along with all these other animals that are already out here feeding and resting so it's a pretty good spot to get a bunch of animals bunched up and make a bunch of cash without sacrificing your red deer zones but once he comes down we're gonna go ahead and take that big level 7 right there along with this uh, little level 3 along with him because as of now, that is the best red deer we've found, and this is by far the smallest one I've seen as of recent, so we definitely want to get both of them down. I don't see our big level 7 yet, so I'm guessing he's kind of in the back, and in that case, we're going to go ahead and just take this one right here. Should be a vital hit. And if we see our 7, we will try to get him on the run. I mean, it was definitely a hit, and it looks like it was a vital hit, too. Because they are losing health quickly. Such an insane spot, honestly. You can push, I think this is like three different herds, all out in this one area because I pushed them up the river. Pretty awesome. That is a very, very small red deer. 6190. Man, if we could have only got that thing just a little bit smaller, that might have been the smallest one I've ever killed. I'm pretty sure we got a solid spike at one point. Uh, this guy right here counts as a 2x2, two two, so I don't think this is the smallest one I've ever killed, but it's definitely close. And I mean, while we're here, we might as well take out this rabbit too, because it's at least decent sized. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the female rabbits are the ones that make it for the European hare, so if we're going to find a diamond, it will end up being a female. There is no male diamond European rabbits as far as I know, or European hare, I should say. I always get the two mixed up, but these are the European hares. The European rabbits are the ones that burrow. There she is, right there. 4.60, and it didn't even quite make a gold, so... I'm guessing that the diamond ones are going to be 5 to 6, or just 6. So... That one wasn't even close, unfortunately, but... I think it actually scored kind of low for the estimate, so it is what it is. So it is now 6.38, and we are starting to get some mouflon and roe deer drinking out here too, so we will now have a much more diverse amount of animals and type of animals that are going to be out here. So we should start seeing some more mouflon and roe deer along these lakes and rivers. 
You know, now that I actually think of it, we did recently go on our Quattro Kalinas. I, for some reason, at the beginning of the video said that it had been like a month. It actually has not been a month. It's been about a week and a half, actually. But I guess what I meant was it's been about a month since we have come here for anything other than red deer hunting. And today we're going to be hunting a variety of things, so... Hopefully we can end up finding something good. There's not really anything too impressive here, but we'll try to take out one of these Mouflon if we can. There's a pretty good level 4. I think that's him right there. And I think there was one other 4 that looked pretty good. Yeah, that one right there. So, let's get the 6.5 out. This gun was made for this map. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get these two down. I don't know about that one. It's kind of at a weird angle, but this one we can definitely get. And there they go running. Maybe we can get the red deer too. That might have missed vitals. Well, that is a strange looking Mouflon. That thing is a level 4 and it looks like an Ibex almost. Let's get that down. That's an interesting trophy. I'm actually really curious to see what that thing's going to look like up close. So we now have two Mouflon down, that red deer is long gone and most likely went out of render and died. And if that's the case, we're not going to be able to even see it because it'll be completely invisible from that invisibility glitch. That is going to get fixed soon though, so we shouldn't have to worry about that for too much longer, hopefully. But here is the first one that we took out, it's actually a pretty good sized one at 164.40. Not a bad Mouflon at all, kind of clipping through its uh, back, but... We will just ignore that and go grab the other one and wait a minute. We actually did get that red deer vitally. Huh. Must have been single lung then. Yeah, there it is. So it did actually get hit vitally, which is pretty interesting. It is a good size level 6 at 183.50. And yeah, we just got single lung. So with a single lung shot, it runs almost 300 meters with the 6.5. That is the one downside to the gun. I do love it, but it does lack in the power department sometimes, so there are going to be situations where something like a red deer runs for a very long distance if you don't get double lung or heart. So there is the blood from our Mouflon, and he actually didn't run too far away either. This is one of the most interesting looking Mouflon I have ever seen. It only scores silver, but it's a level 4. Wow. That is such a strange looking Mouflon. I kind of want to tax that because that's really interesting looking. Quite the uh, strange Iberian Mouflon. Looks like he had a really bad hair day. So as quite a few of you know, uh, my wife and I are due for our first uh, child very soon. Uh, actually May 15th is the due date so you guys are probably going to see a lot of videos like this in the near future because the first couple weeks after the baby's here there's a very high chance that I won't be able to record and stream as much as I'd like to so I'm going to prepare a bunch of videos like this just stuff that I can do relatively quickly that way during the time where she's in recovery and I'm taking care of the baby I'll be able to use any of my free time just to edit these videos because I'm going to record a bunch of them in advance, very similar to this, uh, maybe some multiplayer hopping videos, a uh, 60 minute diamond, just stuff that I can do in an hour or less. That way we can get some stuff ready for when the baby's here, but I'll do my best to continue the at least every other day uploads. But obviously as you guys could imagine, it's going to be pretty unpredictable the first month or so, so if things change a little bit as far as the schedule goes, you guys know why. So, I don't know what the drop is going to be like at this range, but we actually have a pretty good mythical red deer out there, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know what the drop is going to be like. Ooh, apparently like that. Now, let's just hope that it was vitals. It's not looking like it though, so... We can save this, we will try our best. Actually... It definitely was vitals, but I don't want it to go out of render, so we're going to put another shot into it. Hopefully it won't run out of render. I think there's a high chance it will, but uh, we'll still be able to claim it. It just won't really let us look at the harvest screen. Wow, it actually did not go invisible, so I guess it stayed in render for us. 
That is actually really nice. That way we can actually look at this guy. It's a pretty big red deer at 215. We actually missed vitals. Wow. So we aimed way too high. Good to know. That's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. We at least got him down. Well, that's pretty cool right there. We got ourselves an albino mouflon. It is just a level three, but that's still really, really awesome. So let's go ahead and get down closer to this guy. I don't really want to have to risk messing him up, so we will see what we can do once we get down here a little bit further. I don't know what gun I'm going to use on him. Probably the 270 since we have used the 6.5 many times on Red Deer. Let's try to take this guy out with the 270 and ooh, that actually looks... Oh my gosh, that's a... Wow, that's a five. Okay, so we got a five and an albino in the same herd. This lake never fails. I'm kind of surprised we don't have like a level five Bethidi Ibex here. But it looks like there's nothing huge for the Bethidi Ibex. But that right there is a pretty good looking Mouflon. I don't think it's as big as that gray diamond we had the other day. But it's definitely decent. But I think, I think this is a little bit cooler. It's been ages since I've seen an albino one. I'm definitely going to be more happy about this guy than the potential diamond. So if we can, let's try to get both of them down. I don't know how this is going to go. I think we definitely dropped the diamond. Now we just got to make sure we can get this guy down too. I don't want to screw this shot up because it's been a long time since I've seen one of these. I don't think it'll score very high regardless, but I want to make sure we get full score. For those of you that are not familiar with this lake, as you can see, there is Bethidi Ibex and Mouflon all over this area. It's honestly pretty crazy how many are just in this small area. This lake is located right here near Mirador, however you would pronounce that, but it's very close to the starting area. I'm pretty sure you start somewhere over here. And then you can go right over here, grab this lodge. I keep a tent up here just because it's easier to access them. But you don't necessarily need it in order to hunt them. But it's a really good spot. It's great for cash if you're low in level or just need a way to get some extra cash. This is actually a pretty good way to do it just because there's so many of them. And every server you go on to, it'll be like this. Which makes it relatively reliable. And there we go with the 180 bug still in the game. I'm not sure when they're going to fix that, but I hope it's soon. Now we just play the waiting game and hope that this little albino will come in soon. There is our level five down right there. I would imagine that it won't be too much longer before we'll see this albino walking out. You know, something I just realized, none of the Mouflon have come back and I think it actually might be the end of their drink time. Yeah, they're traveling, so we are going to have to go chase that guy down. That's not really what I was hoping to have to do, but I guess that's how it's going to be. Let's just go ahead and take one of these out. Or two. That works also. Just so we can get a couple of them down for respawns in the future. I do really want to get a big melanistic Bethidi Ibex. I've got a nice albino one, but I don't have a big melanistic, so I'd like to get one of those eventually. So we'll kind of work on that as we're hunting these Mouflon. Let's go ahead and pick this little guy up. I don't think this is going to be a diamond. It doesn't really look nearly as big as the diamond that we got the other day. So... Let's go ahead and pick it up. Hopefully it will make it, but I don't think it will. And it didn't. But we messed the shot up, so... Wow. So the 270 does not have enough penetration to hit lung if you end up hitting the vertebrae. I'm glad that this guy didn't make it because uh, <laughs> that would have been really bad. That would have been the first diamond that I've messed up in quite a while, actually. It's been a very long time since I've screwed one up. So that would have been pretty unfortunate. But luckily it would have just been a gold. Trolled by the Mouflon once again. There is one of the Bethidi Ibex. And the blood from the other one is just above us. This guy is a good bit over gold. But nowhere near diamond as to be expected. Um, I don't know where this guy ran off to. It wouldn't let me grab his actual blood. So 
There he is, right there. Once we pick him up, we need to go chase down that albino. I don't know where that thing has got off to, but it couldn't be too far away. There we go, we finally found the track from this guy. Just found the track, it says albino right here. Let's try to chase this guy down. I've got no idea where they would even go to their next zone. I'm not even sure if it's a feeding zone or a resting zone, but we will find it. It looks like they might have actually started coming back and then their zone ended, so they just turned in a different direction, I guess. We'll find out soon. Hopefully they're not too far away. There we go. We finally figured out which direction they ran off in. Um, it looks like it's going to be down in this valley, which is going to be kind of interesting. There's a lot of trees that we'll have to try and avoid and find them through, but I think we should be able to do it. It would actually be really cool if we could spot it through the trees like this. That would be really awesome, actually. So it looks like they were actually right here because this is a running track and I guess they were just chilling there, but we must have spooked them by running over here. But that means they shouldn't be too much further away. We should be able to get this guy in sight very shortly. Ooh, yes, there they are. There is our albino. He's fleeing away about 160 out. If we get a little more elevation, we should be able to have a good angle on him. I do want to take him out with the 270 just like the other one. Uh, this time we'll try to take a broadside shot so we don't ruin it like the last one. Well, all the Ibex are moving back here, so the Mouflon shouldn't be too far behind, I would imagine. Because they were relatively close together. So I don't think we'll have to wait too much longer, hopefully. But as of now, all I see is the Ibex. Ooh, here they are. For a second I thought, oh. For a second I thought that I had completely missed them, but they were actually just sitting here in this little dip. That is pretty unfortunate. I thought they had completely left the area, so we just spooked him once again, which is making this harder than it should be. Honestly, with the direction he's going now, I think he's going to get stuck up on this cliffside. And if that's the case, it's going to make an easy shot for us unless he starts glitching out on the cliffside, then that won't be that great. So, so for the best here, actually looking like he's going in a good direction. Ooh, he's actually in a really good spot. He just stops. Um, he's turning back. That's interesting. I can't say I've ever seen them do that before. I think he might have stopped. I didn't see him come out from behind this tree. I think he definitely did. Now we just got to figure out where he is. Oh, there he is. Right there. That's him. I think he moved last second, but I think we got vitals. He just went down. Wow, the 270 actually kills them pretty quickly. This gun is actually kind of underrated, honestly. I've noticed that every time that I've used it, it seems to pack more of a punch than what people give it credit for. I think it actually might be stronger than the 6.5, if I'm being honest. What was a 20 minute chase has now finally come to an end, and we have an albino mouflon. We recently have been getting some albino bighorn a little bit more than we used to, and now we've got an albino mouflon to go along with them. And wow, that absolutely destroyed every single organ. That's insane. Let's go ahead and tax that. That's a cool trophy. Uh, for a second I thought this hunt was going to end up being a bust, but we ended up clutching it towards the end. I'm going to do a little more searching around just to see if we can find anything else, but even if we can't, that's a cool trophy right there. And we got that troll mouflon also, which I'm still sad about that. Not only did we screw it up, but it was a troll. <laughs> Honestly, I think this hunt went about as good as it could have because we did actually have a plaque that's open for a mouflon sized animal. So we will put this mouflon right here. And I think that looks pretty decent. Eventually, I'd like to maybe move this to a different spot just so it looks a little bit more even because having those big tall horns right there and then just a mouflon on that side does look a little bit off. But I mean, we'll rearrange things eventually once we get another trophy to replace it. But the reason that we have a space there is because I decided to put this right here as I showed you guys in one of the previous videos, or at least it should be uploaded by now. So you guys should already have seen this, but 
we've got this right here so we had a free spot for this little guy right here so that's pretty cool nice to get an albino mouflon but with that being said guys that's going to be it for the video i hope you all enjoyed if you are brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video also be sure to comment down below with a video idea or your opinions on this video and i'll do my best to respond to them i try to reply to every comment that i can apologies if i can't get to your comment but i try to get as many of them as i possibly can so with that being said thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next video Peace!